What's up, guys? Junior for Comics Remix, and I'm here at C2E2 with my friend Jeff Balky. Man, Jeff, how you doing? I am fantastic. I am here at a convention. How can anything go wrong? You recently covered your first cover for uh, Marvel, Fantastic Four 644. How'd that come about, man? That was that was amazing. Actually, um, Michael Golden and uh, Renee, I always screw up her last name, actually approached me and asked if I can do the coloring on it. And that was a huge honor because if some of you guys don't know who Michael Golden is, um, he actually is one of the co-creators of Rogue. So, oh my God. And it was just like, ah! I was just, I was, an, I was odd. I was odd. So uh, that's actually how that came about. And when it came out, I looked, I went in the comic store. That was the first thing I did that Wednesday. I'm like, I can't find it. And I went to another comic store and they had it right there. And I'm just like, oh, it was so cool. It, it did, it did, because even though I've been in the industry for such a long time, working with Zenoscope and Image, you know, the indie guys, yeah. seeing that first Marvel book, I'm like, wow. Like, me, okay, maybe they didn't hire me directly, yeah. but it's still a Marvel book. Yeah. And to me, that's just like, oh, my God. It was awesome. I'm still floating on cloud nine. <laughs> <laughs> well, last year you, la you launched Urban Legends. How's that going for you? It's okay. It's um, taking a little hiatus because last year we had some we had some personal issues, so we had to kind of deal with that a little bit, which we have a little tail end of that right now. Uh, but issue four is ready to come out. Issue five is being drawn up right now. Um, also with that, the trade after issue five uh, will come out right away, uh, hopefully within the next couple of weeks after that. And uh, then we're right now written up to issue nine and ten. So it's going to start taking off again very soon, along with our new uh, story that we have coming up. Now, you've obviously colored for a lot of different uh, artists, but which artists, either past or present, have you, or we'll say past, which artists in the past do you wish, you know, I wish I could have colored for them, and then what artists currently are you itching to just be like, I want to color something that this person has done? Mike Turner in the past. Oh, yeah. Dude, that was, that down, was simple. Yeah. <laughs> hands down. You know, definitely Mike Turner. Um, if, if not even Mike, then honestly, Todd McFarlane. Because nice. their styles, I just, I love their styles. I love the detail in, in their work. Um, and that actually makes me look better. And hopefully it makes them look better. Because then I put a little more detail, a little more time and effort. Not that I just kind of throw it on a page anyway. But, I mean, when it's a little more detailed work, you have to do more work. And uh, that's why I picked those two guys. Because they have their detailed work is phenomenal. And Stephen Platt. Well, out of everybody that you've worked with, who do you look forward to working with in terms of like artistic style, or who did you find the most challenging? Uh, in, in all honesty, not, not to suck up or anything, but Michael Golden, okay. because his style is very, it's very unique. It's very, and I, and I hate to say it like this, but it's true. It's old school, but it looks fantastic. It's not overly done. It's not underly done. It's just it's like perfect it's like goldilocks yeah. it's like it's the perfect bed it's the perfect porridge it's just everything is great with that and when i colored the uh that fantastic four cover i saw and i'm like wow this is really different this is like the old school like 70s coloring that i'm doing on his work and man is that cool that was so cool so i i, I definitely look forward to working with him a lot more if i can well as a every creator nowadays has their own style be it artist writer inker whatever the case as a colorist, how do you feel that your style differs from other colorists out there? From what I'm told, and I'm kind of seeing it more and more, is that I kind of have like a retro feel. So I, I, I do like the 80s type of color and like the, those really bright, vibrant colors. Um, but I have a little bit of a twist, like a 2000, at the time, the first time I heard it, a 2014 twist. Because yeah. um, I just have my own style, my own variation, I guess, that I do. Um, it's kind of hard to explain unless you put two pictures, the same picture side by side. Then you can kind of see it a little bit more, but it looks kind of sketchy-ish. Mm -hmm. um, even the digital stuff and all the hand coloring stuff I do, of course, looks sketchy as well. You know, sketchiness. Right. Well, there was one thing I wanted to ask you, but you kind of answered in a previous question. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and ask, what, um, what do you got coming up besides Urban Legends? What else are you working on right now? Uh, we do have another story coming out, which we're going to be launching later on this year. Uh, we're getting everything kind of dotted and crossed and all that kind of stuff, making sure we're taking care of everything, you know, legally. Um, but next year, wow, a lot, uh, lot of really cool stuff, and I hope to talk to you more about, that, about it next year, but it has to do with animation. Really? Yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff coming up, and uh, so I'll, I'll always be doing the comic books, always as a passion, but I'm kind of going above and beyond that a little bit. And uh, I can't wait to start announcing some of the things that we have coming up. 
I'll probably do it in like December because I don't want to wait that long until January or February. Yeah. Kind of a Christmas gift. <laughs> I want to do it now, but right. I can't yet. No, I, I totally get it, man. <laughs> well, if you need voice work, I'm here. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. That'd be cool. Um, but uh, lastly, man, what's something about you that fans don't know and that they can't find out through social media? <laughs> um, okay, here's uh, this is the only thing that, that pops in my mind. I used to be in a boy band. And you cannot. This interview's done, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really was. I, I used to be in a boy band, and that, that kind of started going around a little bit. A couple of my artist friends, are, they're picking on me. I'm going to have this huge smile on my face about this. The they the want the CD because we actually have a CD. <laughs> no. You, all right, you messed up. Now you got to get me one. You know that, we right? We really do. I need a um, CD now. I got to hear it Jeff sucks. Balky in my speakers. Oh, God. <laughs> Um, it's not the greatest, but you know, it's just something in my past. Before I got into this, that's what I was going into. Um, <laughs> I can go on and on about that, but you know. It was not, dude. Did you like? Were you like lead singer? Oh, I mean, here we what? go. Yeah, now now you open Pandora's box. No, man. I wasn't actually. Okay. I wanted to, but that's not where my voice was because I'm a little deeper than the other guys. So I kind of went. I don't want to say behind the scenes, but I was doing the managing stuff. Okay. And the production, and I couldn't handle both of them at the same time. So I'm just like, you know what? And talk about a cutthroat industry, whoa. Yeah. Because there's so many talented people out there and some not so talented people. Uh, but everyone tries to do the same thing and it's just, it's so hard. It is so hard to like stand out above everybody else. You know, it's, whew. Did you know at like one moment where you were just like, you know what, I'm, I'm not doing this anymore, no more dancing, I'm changing the comics. Yeah, I did actually. I woke up literally the next day and I'm like, I want to draw. At the time, draw. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I remember you told me about your uh, the Stan Lee story. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was I actually. That. Yeah, yeah. I'll never forget. You know that I'll never forget that. And a couple other people that I talked to, um, they all just kept saying, you know, keep going. Well, Stan said, keep going, true believer. You know, you just don't ever stop. Always do your passion. Always do what you want to do. That's also my bio as then well. He, then he look at one of his guys and be like, did he pay you yet? <laughs> <laughs> actually, when I when I walked away. I was putting my comics away with my mom. This was back in 92, so this is a long time ago. Um, I was while I was walking away, I turned around and, you know, from the door and I was looking at him and he was looking right back at me with a grin. Kind of creepy. Yeah. But hey, little boy. I knew what he meant <laughs> right, yeah. the next day again. And I'm like, this is what I wanted to do. And that was the same time that I think I met was that before Martin or after O'Dell. the boy band? Um, I think it was just before. Like, if I'm thanks, not mistaken. Dan, <laughs> yeah, now you got me in a business I really want to be in. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. You know. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Well, Jeff, man, I hope you have a great con. Thank you. It's still, uh, we still got a whole weekend ahead of us, man. Yeah. So uh, good luck to you and all your stuff. Yeah. We'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye, guys.